Lieutenant Paul, it's time to commence field training. Pay attention, and you might even stand a chance on the battlefield. First, I want you to use your mouse to look at each of the four guard towers. Good. Now press your forward key to move in the direction you're facing. Press your backwards key to move back. Press strafe left to move left and strafe right to move right. Using these four keys together with the mouse is critical to your success against the enemy. Press your objectives key to see your list of current objectives. When you complete an objective, it's checked off on this list. Your current objective is highlighted in yellow. Now notice that the arrow on your compass is pointing at one of the towers. The arrow points to your current objective. As you near your objective, the ball bearings on the compass will move closer together. Approach the tower indicated by the arrow. Good. Now press your objectives key again. You have a new objective. Now complete it. Press the jump and forward keys to jump up on this pile of crates. Press the duck key and then move forward to pass under the barbed wire. Press the duck key again to stand up. Look up and press the forward key and you'll climb the ladder. Press the use key to grab a ladder from above or below. the explosives and press the use key to pick them up. Notice that an image of the explosives has appeared in the upper right corner of your view. This shows you the items in your inventory. The other image represents the radio through which we are communicating. A red transparent image of the explosives has appeared on the tank. Press the use key while near the image to plant explosives on that tank. Items you need to use or destroy to complete your mission will also pulse red. Move away from the tank to avoid being injured. Press the use key to open doors. Some doors might be locked. The sound will clue you in. You will automatically pick up first aid supplies when your health level is below 100%. Same for ammunition and weapons, but remember that each weapon has a maximum amount of ammo you can carry. Some items are too far away to be automatically picked up. Press the Use key to grab these items. Select the Colt 45 pistol by pressing the pistol key. To neutralize an enemy without drawing his attention, press the Secondary Attack key to activate the pistol whip. Press the primary attack key to fire any of your weapons. Remain stationary and fire short bursts to increase your accuracy. Try a couple of shots on that target with your 45. Switch to the Thompson submachine gun by pressing the SMG key. You may reload any of your weapons at any time by pressing the Reload key. Always reload your weapons before going into combat. Shoot that target 20 times with the Thompson. Switch to the Springfield 03 sniper rifle by pressing the Rifle key. Press the secondary attack key to toggle the sniper scope on and off. Aim through the scope at the farthest target. Hit the red dot three times.
Select the fragmentation hand grenades by pressing the grenade key. A grenade's primary attack is a long throw. Use the secondary attack for shorter tosses. The longer you hold down the secondary attack key, the farther you'll throw. Use bank shots with the grenades to clear rooms where the enemy may be hiding. Throw a grenade into each of the concrete boxes. Approach the MG-42 stationary machine gun and press the Use key to take command of the weapon. Destroy the target with that machine gun. When you're ready, press the Use key on the red door at the end of the range to exit. This training should help you keep your head under fire. You're dismissed, Lieutenant Powell. Good luck. <laughs>